Okay, we've uh, we've put our new uh, decoder, our ESU Log Sound Select Micro, in this uh, Alco S1. It's an Atlas model, and what we're going to do now is upgrade the firmware on this decoder, and we're going to put in the correct motor sound and what we'll do first I'll try and go through this step by step uh, get on your web browser and oh wrong thing get on your web browser and we'll go to the ESU home page we're going to go to the downloads and this is a a select decoder and I want to look for an Alco and I've already searched this so I'll just type that in there and select that and the correct sound file for this locomotive is a six cylinder 539T and I do want the full full throttle version so what we'll do is we'll download that and this is a select micro so we'll download it we accept that yes and uh, we'll just go ahead and we'll hit save on that and there it's already downloaded that's all it took so let me uh, now to get this to where I can put it into the decoder well I want to view our downloads and it's it'll be this first one here and you can see that I've downloaded it a couple of times but uh, by clicking on that it'll take us right into the uh, the programmer itself and it looks like I have a new version for the programmer and I'm just gonna skip that for right now because I don't need it uh, I'll update this software at another time but uh, right now you can see that it's brought up the sound file that I want and I'm not going to change any of the I'm not going to change the address or anything right now on this uh, decoder I'll go back in and and do that later we'll do one step at a time and that way if something messes up so we can go down through here and look at some of these other things uh, and I'll try and go through some of it like our function mapping this is all the functions now when I put this decoder in if you watch that video and it should be the one right before this one uh, I said that this had full throttle in it well this version of the software that's on the on the decoder did not have the full throttle feature on it so by upgrading this you can see here uh, F9 I'll have my drive hold and that is the full throttle and it, that'll give me some other other functions so, or other sounds I'll be able to change the bell whatnot so let me go ahead and all we have to do with this right now at this point is go up and hit this musical note that says write sound data and this could take up to 20 to 30 minutes depending and we'll go ahead hit that and it'll bring that bring this box up write sound data up and I'll let you read that but I want to uh, go ahead and let it do what the boxes are checked overwrite defaults with current values uh, and actually I don't need it to write the decoder data but I'll, I'll leave it checked and we'll just hit next and it'll start writing the sound data and I don't think there is anything you can see on the locomotive Sometimes, I know with the Digitrax when you upload them, the headlight will flash and you can hear a, a motor noise or a clicking. 
but this one's not this one's not doing anything so we'll let that sit there we'll let it run through its uh, paces there and if it takes a half an hour well when I edit this up I'll just kind of skip through it
Well, we made it back. <clears throat> and I think that only took 38 minutes, if I remember right. But anyway. All right, so we've got that. Let's, uh, let's go to our driver's cab now. And we'll test the test the sound out and see what happens. So there we've got it started up. Shut that sound off. But uh, that sounds pretty good. So, and I probably should have put a, I've had a before and after. Uh, if you want the before, you can go watch the video that I posted there a couple weeks on the install uh, of this decoder, and I ran this. So, but anyway, that is our. Uh, changing the sound file on this decoder and I, I've still got it running so let me uh, stop that there now, let's see we'll hit that sound again There's a couple of times. So, but anyway, and some of these things we don't use. Uh, this is for a rotary beacon. Front ditch lights. I don't have ditch lights on this. Turn that sound back off. But anyway, that is how we change those functions. Oh, I think I've. Yeah, I've still got to. Still had the drive hold on. Okay. I'm going to hit stop there. And now, let's go down here to the decoder. Now, I don't know if anybody noticed it or not. And you may have. Uh, I need to change my forward and reverse. Because when I wired it, evidently it's wired. And I don't want to say it's wired wrong. It's just wired backward. So when I hit forward, I'm going reverse. When I'm going reverse, I'm going, f or when I hit reverse, I'm going forward. And the lights reflect that. So if I have it in reverse, which I mean by going this way, uh, my front headlight will come on. So now I can change that. And I can change that right here 
on my function mapping. And what I'll end up doing is let's pull down this, this menu and I'll take this front light out and I'll make it say rear light. Rear light one. I'll uncheck that. Okay, now I'll go down here to this, make this front light one, and uncheck that. Okay. And I'll write those changes. And the other thing I'll have to do is go through and change uh, my address because it's at address 3 still. So when this gets done, I'll, I'll go change that. Okay, so there's that. Let's go to the address and I'm going to change it to the road number which is 126 I'll write that and then the other thing I want to check is CV29 and I want to see if my direction I mean I'll have to change my CV for my direction I believe because normal configuration I believe it is zero yeah normal direction of travel is zero okay so let's go down here read our CV I want to read CV 29 let me read that CV29 has a value of 14. Now that I... Why, is, why does it have a value of 14? I don't understand that. That must be something new with the full function or full throttle. Let me try something here. Um, let me go back to the driver's cab. We'll hit go. We'll turn the sound on again. We'll turn our light on. Okay. So there's our light. Okay, when I change those two, uh, the function settings, it also changed that CV. That's why I was reading 14. So that's doing the, the direction that I want it to now. All right, uh, that's going to conclude. Uh, turn that sound off. Uh, that's going to conclude this video. And I know that's not a real in-depth discussion of the low programmer. I just wanted to kind of run through it real quick to show you how to change a sound file. And when I say quick, uh, about 40 minutes later after it started, the hardest part is just sitting waiting for it to change. Uh, let me hit stop there and turn the light back off. Take that back to zero, my throttle to zero. So. Now, I want to 
going to save that. Well, actually, I'm not going to save it. So, but anyway, all right. That's that, and we'll see you in the next video.